Hello and hope you're having a fantastic Saturday. My name is Jonathan and welcome to another Essential Writing Tools video. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about having purpose in your scenes that you write. A lot of very famous writers will tell you that every scene is essential to have a purpose. It's essential to move the story forward. And if it doesn't move the story forward, cut it out. Now, in my opinion, you are supposed to have a purpose for every story. I don't think you should have a story in your book that just doesn't mean anything, you know. But that doesn't mean that every story necessarily should push the story forward. But before you burn me at the stake, just hear me out for a second. Ah! In my novel, Nights Without Kings, my beta readers came to a part of the story that these two characters, it's about a wedding, right? And I write myself away from my main character and focus on these singers. Well, it's actually a singer and a violinist who perform a song for the attendees at the ceremony. So this is what I say. Then, a man struck the chords of a violin, interrupting the conversation. Bedrick had seen him before in the market troops performing for the morning merchants. His black beard had been neatly trimmed and his shoulder-length hair was tied behind his head. His eyes studied the crowd before him. He struck the cords of his violin once more, tightening one of its pegs. Beside him, a woman stood with hands folded before her. She wore a long, gray-white dress with white embroidery and crystalline roses dotted throughout. Though the bottom part of the dress blossomed towards the ground, the upper design was such so that it clung to her slender frame almost voluptuously, revealing her ebony-colored skin. Her hair was cut so that it was shaved on the sides and long behind her. It wasn't a popular cut, but she wore it impressively. Her eyes were painted with black to her ears and over the bridge of her nose. She closed them as the man put his bow to the violin. So this goes on for three paragraphs, and basically I'm just trying to talk, I'm trying to, because you can't hear music, right? When you're reading a book, it's all in your head. So I had to describe the, the sound that was coming from the violin as well as the woman and the type of music that they were playing. Now, this is the first and only time that these characters show in this book. They don't ever come back again for a, um, I guess, a secondary reveal. And they, they, that's it, you know. You don't ever hear what happens to them in this book, though. In book two, one of these characters is very important to the story, and it, it's a catalyst, kind of. So that is the reason, even though in the first book, these characters don't seem to have very much use, which is what my beta readers pointed out. In fact, a couple of them suggested me to cut it out because it just didn't have any purpose. Well, it does have a purpose, but it is not immediately shown in this book, in this chapter. It's just not here. But in the second book, now I'm not, in, in the second book, actually, I didn't need, I don't need to have this scene in order for the second, for the scene in the second book to make any sense at all. I don't, but it, it, I feel like it makes, for a more interesting picture if it's in this book and then it shows up in the second one. It's a long-term setup that I'm trying to pull off in this case and I mean I hope it works. By the way, if you haven't, if you don't know already, Nights Without Kings has been released. Um, it is available on Amazon on paperback and Kindle so if you don't have it and you're interested in a dark fantasy character driven narrative story, uh, feel free to pick it up. The link is going to be down in the description down below, okay? And I don't have any reviews on Amazon just yet. If you'd like to be the first one, either trash it or like it, please let me know. I would, I mean, either way, that someone read it would, would mean quite a lot to me. <laughs> I don't know if I can even say that. So is there a scene in your story that you really like, but you can't find a purpose to it? Or that you do have a purpose, but it doesn't drive the story forward? Well, I would suggest that if you don't have a purpose for it, you do cut it out. But if you like it enough and you do find a purpose at the end of the day, then keep it. Consider keeping it. Consider working on it more. Maybe even tying a little bit more of the story into this scene to make it work for you. I mean, who better to say when a story fits or doesn't fit better than you? At least until you publish the story and the critics get a hold of it and tear it to pieces, making your day every single day a nightmare to living hell. Positivity. So that's it for this video, and I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. Um, just as a little uh, FYI, I picked this book up um, over the weekend, and it is called Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve, and I saw the trailer that Peter Jackson's going to be doing for this series, and it's based on this on this series of books. It's a quadrilogy, and I've already read, I've already finished reading it. I've only had it for like less than a week, and I'm almost done with it. Um, it's a short read, but it is a very good book, and I'm going to be doing a book review uh, at the beginning of next month that will be coming out for this book. And I'm also going to be reviewing, 
um, the other books after that. So there's a couple book reviews that are going to be coming out on this. Um, if you're interested in that, stay tuned for it. I'm very excited to tell you what I think about it. And I mean, if you can't already guess, I kind of like it. It's a, it's a pretty decent book. All right, well, that's it for this week. And I will see you guys on the next one. And be careful out there. There's a lot of crazy people running about. And just keep your wits about you. You know, you can, you can make it. We're going to make it. All right. Bye. I got used to the silence as I stuck in my cage. You cannot miss what you have never seen before.